Some tragic news from the world of baseball this morning as we learned that Don Dankinger, the famous umpire who blew the 1985 World Series, has passed away. However, Dankinger's career wasn't just that one call as people wanted to, us to believe. Dankinger actually was born in Iowa and while serving in the Army, he decided to be an umpire. And by 1969, he became an American League umpire. He would umpire from 1969 to 1998. It's amazing that that call in 85 did not ruin his career. Dankinger actually was one of the first AL umpires to go from the outside chest protector to the inside protector. Anyway, Dankinger would umpire in four World Series, 74, 80, 85, and 91, which was crazy because, you know, thinking after the 85 World Series, he must have lost some stuff. But in 91, he umpired the World Series. I did not know that. He also was part of the All-Star Game crew in 71, 76, and 87. He would do six ALCSs, 72, 75, 79, 82, 88, and 92. And actually did a few division series. He was actually behind the plate when the Yankees beat the Red Sox on the Bucky Dent home run in 1978. He also was the home umpire in Game 7 of the 91 World Series and one of the greatest World Series of all time. Dankinger actually was the second base umpire when Len Barker threw his perfect game in 1981 and the first base umpire when he pitched when, he, when Kenny Rogers did his perfect game. He did some fantastic work and all that. He would umpire over 3,800 games and would actually retire because of a bad right knee. Anyway, Dankinger would, of course, be known for one call and one call only in the 1985 World Series, Game 6, as the Cardinals were trying to win in Kansas City and get the World Series. After all, I mean, the Cardinals did win Games 1 and 2 in Kansas City. So anyway, it was a close game. The Cardinals had been 97-0 and zero while taking the lead into the ninth inning, and Todd Worrell looked like a good pitcher. Or Jorge Orta, or George Orta, sorry. The lead, the lead up batter hit the slow ground ball to Jack Clark, who tossed it to Ty Worrell to cover first base like you do as a pitcher. Unfortunately, Dankinger called Orta safe, even though TV replays and photographs clearly show he was out by half a step. Even, even a photograph said that. Of course, you know, that technology wasn't as big in 85 as it is now. But the fact of the matter is... That led to a chain of events that saw the Royals win Game 6 2-1. to one. And of course, things were bad because Dankinger was the home plate umpire for Game 7. So, anyway. He did meet with Commissioner Peter Ubroff after the game, after Game 6, and saw the replay himself. He said he was waiting to hear the ball land in Worrell's glove while watching the bank for Order's foot, and he never heard Worrell catch the ball. Unfortunately, though, he was made to be Game 7 of the 85 World Series to be behind home plate. Unfortunately, Cardinals manager Whitey Herzog was not too pleased about it. And after some terrible calls in the fifth inning, Whitey was trying to calm down his pitcher, Rocky Manuheim, who was getting frustrated and frustrated and frustrated. And then he told Dankinger, quite frankly, if you hadn't blown that call the day before, we wouldn't be here today. Unfortunately, though, he got the heave ho. And then Anuhar, after a terrible pitch, well, then started arguing, got tossed, and appeared to brush Dankinger, which gave him a five game suspension to start the 86 season. Unfortunately, the aftermath of the World Series would be harmful on Dankinger. Many letters, including death threats, were mailed from Cardinals fans. And two St. Louis disc jockeys actually revealed Dankinger's TV home, I mean, telephone number and address. 
the letters would be really, you know, made through. Dagger did get some help from the FBI, and someone wanted to blow him away with a magnum gun. But, you know, Dagger kind of did embrace that thing, even though that it should never have happened. And the fact of the matter is, if Dagger was a naturally dumb player, 